music. Your radio, your station. Playing hits 24 hours a day. This is my station. Transradio.co.uk Get social with us at Transradio UK on Twitter and Facebook. This, this is Transradio.co.uk As promised, we've got Jamie on the line who's going to give us some information about Leeds First Friday, commonly known as LFF. So yeah, good evening, Janie. Uh, hi, and thanks for having me on the show tonight. No worries. Thank you very much for coming on. So I believe that um, LFF has now been going for 10 years. Is that right? It's now been running us for 10 years as a consecutive monthly event. But it did actually start a little bit before then, but in a, in a slightly different form. OK, and how did, it, how did that all get about going? How did that start up? It, it started out before 2008. Um, as a, a quiz night every Tuesday night, there was about a dozen people used to attend. Right, OK, excellent. And, and it's obviously built and grown ever since then. So, so now as I believe that you've got, um, you just re- had your 10th anniversary? Yes, we have. And it was an absolutely fantastic evening as well. OK, tell us about that evening. How did it go? Oh, we had absolutely everybody rallying round for us. We had the Lord Mayor of, Ave- uh, of Leeds attending. Um, the, the Cosmopolitan Hotel, uh, our main meeting place, they laid on an absolutely fantastic buffet for us, um, disco, they opened extra bars for us, um, and they really pulled out all the stops to make it a fantastic night. Oh, it sounds awesome. So, I have not personally been to LFF myself, so it is something that I really want to do and haven't looked into, so I'm presuming we've probably got a few listeners that haven't been there as well, so do you want to tell us all about it? Where can people stay, how does the event go, etc, etc? There's quite a lot of hotels in the area. Um, a lot of people, when they come for the first time, tend to choose the Cosmopolitan Hotel because that's where it all starts. Uh, but we do have quite a few hotels around us. We have the Malmaison, we have rooms, Travelodge. Um, there's a few a bit further away, like the Discovery Inn, Ibis. We do have quite a good choice of hotels. Fab. And so I, I'm a newbie coming, and uh, so I arrive in Leeds at a hotel, get myself all ready. Then what, what, what happens? Where do we meet? What, what, what's the actual sort of process of the evening? Well, as I said, the Cosmopolitan is our main meeting point. We all tend to meet there between sort of seven and eight on a night. Some people are there a little bit earlier, depending on what time they arrive and get ready. But we all sort of meet up there, meet up with friends, meet up with people we haven't seen for absolutely ages. And then um, after a while, we'll sort of all sort of head out to the other bars. And there's a good, good selection to choose from as well. OK, so how many other bars are there roughly around in the area? About nine or ten bars that we use. Okay, fab. And what, 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 what's that, the bars? Have you got nightclubs, music, in, you know, is it just sitting down? What's the actual procedure there for the different areas? Well, I mean, obviously, with it being a city centre, there's actually a few bars where you can sit and have a quiet conversation. Um, but we do have a good selection of music. We have cabaret. Um, we, uh, one, of the, one of the bars, Fibre, um, we have the, the first floor in there. We have our resident DJ, Susan Platt, and they also put on a really lovely buffet for us every month. Um, we also have Queen's Court. We have Blades Bar, the Viaduct, Smokestack, the Bridge Inn, the New Penny. Quite a lot of people have started to go to Revolution de Cuba for the music. Absolutely brilliant in there. And the cocktails are awesome. Oh, yeah, everyone loves a cocktail. Sounds absolutely fabulous. What's your kind of attendance um, now at the events? The 10th anniversary event was a special one. We had in excess of 250 there that night. Um, normal attendance can be anything, depending on the month, it can be anywhere between sort of 150 upwards. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it sounds like a really, really good night out. So what people come, I presume, from sort of all over the country? We get people coming from everywhere, from way down south in Bristol, um, for, uh, all the way up um, right to Aberdeen. Um, we have people coming down. Um, one, of, one of my friends, um, we have nicknamed her the Selfie Queen, Gemma Smith. Oh, yeah. uh, she has actually posted quite a few videos online, which are well worth watching if people haven't attended the event before. 
Right, Fab, good old Gemma. Everyone loves Gemma. I think everyone that oh, knows yeah. Gemma, they know Gemma, know the smile. Um, so, so talk us about um, social media. How can people sort of interact with people on the event? Um, I mean, the, the main event listing is on uh, the TV Chicks website. Okay. Um, but I've more recently started to uh, list the event on Facebook. We have our own Facebook group. Right. Um, and how do people find that? If, if they just type in Lee's First Friday into the search box, it will come up. Um, I'm the admin on there, so I, I get to sort of see everybody who applies, and I can, I can approve them. Right, fabulous. And if, if somebody wants to turn up to the event, do they have to book, or do they just turn up on the night? They don't have to book at all. They can just turn up. If, if, it's, their, if it's their first time... You know, if they're sort of join the join the Leeds First Friday group on Facebook, if they let people know that it's their first time, we normally go out of our way to look after them. Right. Okay. So they just put them pop a message onto the uh, the Facebook group, let everyone know it's their first time, and then hopefully people will be there and be able to sort of chaperone them and let them know the ropes. Is that right? Yeah. We always try to show the new people around. Um, with it being the the type of event where it is, where people are sort of, sort of moving from venue to venue. Um, that can make people a little bit nervous at first, right, yeah, of which is why we, we we always try to um, sort of search them out and make sure that they're okay. Okay, and it's the first Friday, I presume that's of every month? Every month. Um, the only exception to that, um, last year and also this year, is actually in June. Uh, in June this year, we'll have, be having um, an event at the beginning of the month and also a second event at the 29th. And that replaces a July event. Um, the reason being for this is because for the second year running, uh, our event actually clashes, clashes with the Sparkle event in Manchester. Right, OK, so you've brought it forward so it doesn't clash. That's right. Um, last year it proved to be a, re- a huge success. So I've decided to do exactly the same thing again this year for people who want to attend. Ah, fabulous. So, yeah, so first Friday of every month... Head yourself down to Leeds First Friday where Janie and the girls will give you a warm welcome and you can get yourself out partying around Leeds City Centre. Um, obviously, as Janie just said, July 1 is brought forward a week because of the Sparkle event. So make sure you get there. Well, um, Hopefully we'll be able to have a live event where we actually go up to uh, Leeds First Friday ourselves and we'll do a few interviews with the girls around and about and hopefully uh, see what it's all about for ourselves but that's Leeds First Friday you can find it on Facebook so please make sure you look it up join the group and get yourself down there Trans Radio 24 hours a day 7 days a week playing all your favourite tunes transradio.co.uk it's time to crank up the volume. This is your station. 24 hours a day. Transradio.co.uk. We're back to the music. Back to the music. Next. Transradio.co.uk.